From the area known as Patriot Place, EA Sports set for football at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the New England Patriots. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Short pass caught by Henry. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. So give him two yards there on the completion. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Third and short, so didn't need much, but got a little extra on the backside. Nice run. Chewed up the yardage, didn't he? To me, that was offensive line with leverage, good blocking angles, taking on a stacked defensive front. And once they chopped that little hole in the beginning, he took it and rambled. And just the third play from scrimmage, wanted to avoid the three and out and did just that. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 15. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Here comes third down at seven. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. The safety blitz staged to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. The defense was ready for the back to leak out. And even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion. But give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort. Turn it into a successful play. Here's Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Third and five. Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Herbert. He's got another one to Johnston. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Again, Herbert. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger gain? After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he is caught. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. To the right side, this is Stevenson. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. We've called a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Third and nine here. On play action, they'll throw. Flush to his right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Ah, oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. Here we go now on first and goal. As they've got it as we resume action. Stevenson is into the end zone. Touchdown, New England. Well, we had the scoreless first quarter of play. We sure didn't have to wait long into the second quarter to get some action on the scoreboard. So was the first quarter a feeling out process? I mean, that was an interesting quarter, wasn't it? Because we had some action. We had some good play. Just didn't have any points. So now it's game on. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. 
And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. A full start backs them up five, first and 15. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Now a deep one for Johnston. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A big pickup of 38. Brandon, that was a nice route that time. Lined him up on the right and worked his way all the way across the formation. One of the toughest routes to cover because you keep waiting for the ball to be thrown and for him to break something off. He goes all the way across the field, right to left, for a big play. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Finds Johnston. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12, first and 10. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he's brought down. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Now it's Herbert. Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Chargers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have, and you absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, put them to good use on that one. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Out of his end zone, here comes Jalen Rager. And he will be brought out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Pats at the line, ready to go. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a bead on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action, and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. He finds his man complete. That's Baker. 
A big play there for New England. And even 50 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. On second down, it's Stevenson. And a short gain down to about the 33. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Here's Stevenson. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. From the two now, second and goal. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Kendrick Bourne. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have taken the lead. An out route there for the score. A quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really surveying the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands. Knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Charger drive about to get going. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Back to throw here, Herbert. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. He's got his first catch here before halftime and it goes for a first down. That was a nicely run slant route and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. 
Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Juwan Bentley. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one goes for 30 yards. Charles, you talk so much about quick change plays. There's one right there. You get the turnover, and boom, hit them with a big one. And defenses plan for this all the time. They work on it in practice. But in the middle of a game, when that quick change takes place, oftentimes guys aren't as focused as they need to be. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw here on target to Hurst. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick here is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Charger drive about to get going. 
All in all, pretty manageable deficit, Charles, here as they start this third quarter offensively when you consider the fact that in the first two quarters, they had two costly turnovers. I think you laid it out there perfectly, partner. Very tough to hold a lead going into the break if you continue to hand it over on multiple drives. Yeah, and obviously, Charles, it would be very tough to climb back into the game if those turnovers continue. I would say borderline impossible. You keep turning it over, I don't know how you make up a deficit. Herbert now. Throws right side, and that's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. And he'll work down inside the 45. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Here's a second and eight. Out of the gun, Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Now Herbert off the bootleg. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 27-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one. Wound up hitting him for a first down. On first down, it's Herbert. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Here's Herbert. Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and it's now 17-14. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll look to throw here. Checking this down to Stevenson. And he is going to lose yardage here. 
Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play, but no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Play action. It's Herbert. Complete to Johnston here. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Herbert throwing again. Short throw underneath to Hurst. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that <laughs> one or what? <laughs> they would gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And again, that's Hurst. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. On Herbert, his third interception. And the Patriots are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Looking left side, and, he, and it's out. He put it on the carpet and picked up by the Chargers. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Now Herbert following the turnover. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Well, every lineman knows the rule. You only get a one-yard buffer beyond that line of scrimmage, and then the flag is thrown, and he got tagged for it there. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it, and the Pats are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Open man is born. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. 
And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And tackled down after a gain of three, leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Looking to throw. He finds Douglas complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second, this is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this, and they're on the move here with a first down. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A great job there, and that old cliche, taking what the defense gives you, comes right into play. Nothing too out of the ordinary about the throw. Just a little dump off over the middle. But what is out of the ordinary is what he did with it after the catch. Not only did he grab the ball, but how about the significant yardage he picked up after he pulled it in? Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 23. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And that is incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Sly able to put this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, the bad news, they had the turnover last time. The good news, their defense only surrendered three. So now we are set up for a great finish. All tied here in the fourth. Tackle made there by Jabril Peppers. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. 
Here's Herbert. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count and a five-yard penalty ensues. Now it's Herbert. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt, certainly not what he wanted. And the Patriots take over. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, it's complete. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Now second down in a few inches. Back to throw. Pass caught by Hooper. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. He'll look to throw. On the move past the 40. And finally down at the 36-yard line. Very sharp here to start this drive. Three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. They'll come up first and ten here. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Here's first down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Clock reading 34 seconds. Here comes second down now. They run once more with Stevenson. At this stage, you've got to hustle. Got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot.
By the way, you'd be looking at about a 47-yarder from here as they come up on an important third down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And I don't think he got there, no. Geez, short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So on is their kicker, and it's down to this. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And his kick is indeed good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA.